real busy here lately, man. My wife and daughter just left um, yesterday. They left out of O'Hare to uh, my wife's country. She lives over where she used to live, I should say. That was stupid, but she used to live over, uh, it's a country called Kyrgyzstan. to visit when she goes man the plane tickets are I mean they're so expensive they're like three thousand dollars three thousand dollars for her and my daughter together round trip when they go it's usually for about a month so they left yesterday which was July 9th and they'll be back August 18th and I don't know what in the fuck to do I'm going to live on this thing. Nice. Because I really got nothing. I mean... Fucker. I'm starting... EMT classes August 1st. So that'll be something. But damn. Get a whole lot of riding in, man. That's why I'm out here. I'm just out in the middle of nowhere. Just out here cruising. Fucker. Just out here getting on it a little bit. Yeah, baby. I'm the strongest motherfucker in the world, bitch. Out here getting busy. The road is bumpy as fuck though. All I smell is horse shit or cow shit or something. It fucking stinks out here. Ladies and gentlemen, Indiana is what you got. That's all it is. Ow! Fuck! Yeah, a fucking bug. It hit me right in the trachea. You son of a bitch. Oh, God. Can't breathe. Man, there's some big fucking houses out here. Out here in the middle of nowhere. I'm really rich. I'll show you that in a second. And by the way, I'm not even saying that in a brag. That's the kind of mindset, that's the kind of thinking you need for this country. You hidden little pretty girl. Is that a fucking Nova? She's got a sitting out there. You could probably part that out. I mean, there's probably not an engine in it, but people still look. I mean, my buddy he, at work, he just bought a, well, he's already sold it, but he bought a 69 or 70 Nova. We're not sure what year, but uh, I mean, they had the, it runs and everything, and the engine's real nice in it. But he just needs like cosmetic pieces. I mean, he could part that thing out. here in the middle of nowhere and I found a fucking highway. Look at that deer. Not sure if you guys can see it, but that's a big motherfucker. a little bit about O'Hare Airport. It's where I took my wife and daughter yesterday. Fuck that airport. I hate that airport. Damn. Fuck. There is so much going on there. It's not even funny. I drove there and it's like you got to fucking exit the highway. I mean, it's not you get off you know, you take, I'm not sure how you, how familiar you guys are with, uh, I'm sure, with, um, Chicago or surrounding the, you know, the O'Hare airport and all that shit. I, me, I'm not too familiar with it. 
we go there every now and then, you know, to spend the day downtown and shit, but you fucking go on the Dan Ryan Expressway, which in itself is a fucking nightmare. I hate that road. I hate it. And you fucking take that thing and just keep hitting the damn horn. You hit that and you fucking get off on an O'Hare exit, but you think, you know, a normal person would think that you'd exit off an airport would be in there. No! You exit off, hey, baby, you exit off the Dodge Dart. Um, you exit off at the terminal you want. So the whole fucking thing is on like its own little highway system and you exit off at the terminal. It's fucking stupid. And when you get off, it's like, you know, fucking Beatrice Coleman Lane and shit. Some stupid ass names. I don't get it. I don't understand anything about that. I mean, fuck, I'm from this. You know what I mean? Fucking cornfields. I don't understand when it comes to, you know, 17 lanes on each side, fucking 16 of them's going one way and one's going the other. Shit was crazy. It's almost like a little tunnel, like the trees touching. Back here, oh, gotta show you guys this. Back here, used to ride our quads back there, man. I had a Polaris. 500 Sportsman, um, I had a Kawasaki KX250, uh, I had a Yamaha Banshee, and then I ended with my favorite quad I've ever had, and I still got it, it's just at a storage facility that my uncle pays for, because he actually bought the, bought the quad back before I worked and all that, but it's still there, it's got some flat tires and a dead battery, but it was the Yamaha Raptor 660 still there as black cosmetically it's beautiful it needs a, you know it needs an oil change and a tune-up that quad was amazing I loved it it was my favorite to this day it's the best quad I've ever owned I mean that thing will fucking rip down in the hello don't know who they are um, it'll rip man down through the trails the mud that thing will fucking run too it's so fast for a quad anyway only bad part is it's only bad part about it is it's front end light the front end of it I mean I could fucking take two fingers and lift the lift the whole front end up that's the bad part. Oh God, my nose. These are the back side of the woods I just showed you guys where I used to ride. A lot of memories out there, man. A lot of drunken, drunken memories on quads, that's for sure. Little gas station in the middle of nowhere. Just trying to go in here and come out with my life. Oh, damn. Look at that sexy bitch. You are hot. Oh, let me flex my muscle. I'm just kidding. Fuck, just kidding. If anybody around here where I'm at, man, if you're watching, you want some good trails, right there is where to get on them. It's so grown up. It's like nobody goes back through there.